Hey guys, it's Dan here. Um, it's a beautiful day, a um, little windy and everything. Um, it's been a month since I've been able to get outside and cook. Um, I don't know if you can see like the standing water there on my uh, Blackstone and stuff. But what I'm going to do for you today is just a quick, simple stir fry because it's the first time that when I got off of work, the sun's still been up without it snowing, sleeting, raining, something. Um, I've just been dying to get back outside to cook. This is just something simple, quick, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Well, I'll be right back with you and I'll get to cooking. All right, guys, I got my pan preheating. This is just a 12-inch lodge. Um, I'm going to start out with a little bit of a sesame seed oil. Put some of that in there. Get it off the lid because like a dummy I poured it straight on the lid. And then I just got a little less than a pound of a chicken breast that I cut up and then I salt and peppered. And I'm going to get them browned up. Some of the chunks are a little bit big, but like I said, I'm just happy to be back outside cooking. I apologize that it's taken me a month to get a video out, but uh, Mother Nature has just not accommodated me at all. Um, but let me get this browned up. This is a super simple recipe. This will probably be a five minute video or less, um, but I'll be back with you guys here in just a few. All right, I got all the sides and all the edges and stuff browned up. It's probably cooked, I'd say, maybe halfway done. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I got this bag of a stir-fry mix, and it was out of the freezer section. And uh, that's what I got. It's, uh, it's the stir-fry starters, um, just to make everything nice and simple. And by the time this defrosts, the chicken should be real close to done and then by the time I put my sauce and stuff in it I know the chicken will be done. Um, like I said earlier I apologize for not getting any good cooks out in the whole month of February. It just between work, life and uh, mother nature especially it was just tough. Um, but if you guys do like my videos please hit the like button um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, next to the subscription, if you want to click that bell, you'll get notifications of when I put new videos out. Um, now that it's March and I'm hoping the weather's going to break around here, I'm definitely going to start doing my cast iron Wednesdays every Wednesday, uh, whether I have to hold an umbrella over it or not. Um, you definitely need to go check out uh, D at Native Tears. I'll leave a link down below for her. Uh, she's the one that started the Cast Iron Wednesday playlist. And it is two years old now. And there's a lot of great people that do some real good cooks on there. Um, Sean at uh, Shovelhead 8, he's the one a little over a year ago that got me connected with D uh, to do this. Um, I'll leave a link for his channel too. I mean, two great people, they do great stuff, um, and I believe now once a month they're going to start doing a uh, Cast Iron Wednesday challenge. Um, I believe for the month of uh, March it's your favorite stew or whatever. Not exactly sure if I'm going to get that done or not uh, with how busy I've been, uh, but I'm going to try. Um, I do have a couple of good stew recipes that I just haven't filmed when I've cooked because with the weather I've cooked them inside but yeah well I'm gonna let this go for a couple more minutes get all the vegetables good and soft and then I'll be right back with you all right all the vegetables are real nice soft everything the chickens totally done I'm trying something new today I found this at the store the other day I've never tried it before this is supposed to be a uh, garlic um, chili sauce kind of but it's a medium heat I've never tried it never tried this brand so we're gonna experiment but that's the thing I love about cooking is you can always try new stuff um, I really like that uh, garlic chili made by the same company that makes sriracha um, if you saw my video for the uh, 
um, jacked up uh, ramen noodles. I'd made it with that. It was real good. But all I'm going to do is get this mixed together, get this sauce heated up. I think I want just a little more sauce in there. But once I get the sauce on everything and this um, sauce heated through and everything, I'll be back with my taste test here in a few minutes. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. All right, guys, take a look at that. That just looks beautiful. I can't wait to try this new sauce. Um, I'm going to start out just the vegetables first. Mmm, that sauce is a little sweeter than I was expecting. It's still good, definitely taste the garlic in it. Um, yeah, get a little bit of the chili. There's, for it saying it's medium, there's a little bit of heat on the backside, which I like. So let me get a bite of this chicken. Hmm. Of course, I always love the chicken. But no, I'll definitely try that sauce again. A um, little sweeter than what I was expecting. Um, it's more like a sweet garlic than a garlic chili, but you can definitely taste the chili in it because, I mean, I am getting a little bit of heat in the back of the throat, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you watch any of my other videos, I love to spice things up. But, uh, all right, well, it's good to be out cooking for you guys. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. And I hope all of you have a blessed day and a blessed week. And uh, keep watching my videos. I'll be putting more out real soon, I promise.